Okay. So function notation has something similar to f of x. It could be like g of x. It could be g of w, whatever you want. Um, for this one, since they're using w as the input, I'll do f of w. But this part is the part that makes it function notation. And then to define the function, we can just use what we've already wrote for this expression of w. So to define this function, f of w equals 60 minus 5w. Make sense? So then for number three, it says on the coordinate plane, sketch a graph of the function. Let y represent amount of sugar. So that's nice. They tell you what to label the axes. Although hopefully you guys know Make it shorter. Hopefully you guys know like dependent versus independent, but it tells you the y-axis is sugar remaining in kilograms, and the x is the number of feet. The time is usually on the x-axis. Um, and then we need to sketch it. Since we already have a table with some values, I'm just going to make it easy and use those. Um, but notice the way that it's written, it is a linear function. Um, 60, your starting amount, would be your y-intercept. And then the negative 5 would be your slope, because it is in the form mx plus b. It might not look like it because they're blocked, but it is. Um, but again, we have a table, so I'm just going to use those. So my first data point... I'll put for the y-intercept at zero weeks, we had 60 kilograms of sugar. On the table, how much um, sugar did we have at four weeks? 40 remaining. At eight weeks, how much sugar did we have? So 820, and then we could keep going. You wanna make a straight line as possible. So something like that. Maybe either keep the pattern going, the going down five to the right one, or um, like just make it as straight as possible. Because the next part says, find the x-intercept and describe what it means in this situation. So what is my x-intercept? Where does it cross the x-axis? At 12, my x-intercept is 12. What does it mean in this real world situation? So at 12 weeks, there is zero kilograms of sugar. All right, because the X is 20, the Y is zero, or not 20. The X is 12, the Y is zero, since X is number of weeks and Y is sugar remaining, it must be at 12 weeks, there's zero kilograms of sugar. Good? All right, any other questions? So remember, you would pick one from each unit. So make sure you at least know how to do one from each unit. So like unit two, what would you guys think is easier, choice one or choice two? I don't know if you have a choice one on your paper. This was added after I already printed it. Do you guys know how to graph systems? Okay, well, then we'll go over this. Um, so this isn't on your paper. Feel free to jot it down somewhere else where there's free space. I think after the first page on the bottom, you can just write unit two, choice one, 
and take notes. Maybe that example. So that's this one. 3x plus 2y equals 21, and y equals 3x minus 3. So if you choose this one, I think choice two is easier, but this one, you need to know it anyway. Um, it says, show any algebra needed to graph each line here. So if I need to graph something, and I'm assuming they mean by hand, if they actually want you to use algebra to graph the line, um, what form do the lines need to be in? If I need to graph them. If I need to graph a line, what form do they need to be in? Y equals mx plus b. Are they both in y equals mx plus b? Which one needs to be changed? So then copy the first one down. You don't really need to write the second one down. That one's already in y equals mx plus b. In y equals mx plus b, what is alone? The y is alone. The y intercept is b, but the y is alone. So if I can get this y alone, then it will be in slope intercept form. So when you're isolating a variable, always start with what is farthest. Would that be the 3x or the 2? How do I cancel the 3x? Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign. So then this cancels on the left, I get 2y. On the right, are these like terms? They are not. So don't make it like 18x or something like that. You can't combine them. One has an x, the other one doesn't. What I am going to do is just change the order so that it looks more like this. But you don't really have to. The 3x is still negative here. The 21 is still positive. Um, the y is still not alone, though. So how do you get it alone? by two. And whatever you do on one side. And remember to do it to both terms. I write it like that usually so that you remember. Is slope allowed to be a fraction? So is negative three over two good? Yes. Simplified fraction, that's my rise over run. So I wouldn't really want to make it a decimal at all. Um, and then my y-intercept though, that is a simplified fraction, but since I have to put that on a number line, for that one, I'm going to want the decimal. So what's 21 divided by 2? 10.5. Yeah. So again, the reason I want to make that one a decimal is so I know where to put it on the y-axis. Questions there? So then I'm graphing this and this. Um, because the system you graph both of them and now they're both in slope intercept form. So I'm just gonna copy the other one down so that I can scroll down. When you graph stuff, what do you plot first? The y-intercept. So let's plot um this one first. I'll plot it in blue. Y intercept for that one is 10.5. It looks like it's off the graph. Hopefully, I didn't make it. Let me go. Yeah, it's a, they didn't put a good graph on this one. I know on the actual final, it does fit on here. So, really, it would be off of the graph. So, I'm going to just sketch it on the side. So, y intercept. Going in the positive direction would be going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And ten point five is between ten and eleven up here. And then with my rise over run. So since the it's negative, do I go up or down? So from my line intercept going down three, remember we're at 10.5, so we're in the middle part. One, two, three, and then to the right, one, two. Cool. 
You're going to want at least a, like three points to make it nice and straight. But you may need more to see where they actually intersect. So from there, we're going down three to the right two. Okay. Um, I'll draw the line later. The other one we're going to graph was the one already in slope intercept form. What's the y intercept of that one? Negative three. So that's below the origin on the y axis. So down one, two, three. Or let me spot that in green. And then what's my rise over run for that? So, and remember it's a fraction, even if it's not written that way, what's three as a fraction? Three over one. So my rise is three, one, two, three, to the right one. Going up three, one, two, three, to the right one. And you know your answer is where the two lines two up. <laughs> Where the two lines intersect. I'm going to put it in Desmos because I can't see clearly on my graph that I sketched. Don't lose your packet. We're continuing to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> And this would be the answer. A three six is where they cross. Other than that, other than that.